actually better possible feeling than plopping your ultra healthy dessert on the dessert table next to all the unhealthy desserts and watching your healthy dessert get gobbled up before all the rest? I mean, could anything feel better both to your ego and to any eater's stomachs? The answer is no, nothing is a better feeling. Which is why I am so excited to show you this recipe that's gonna bring you that level of joy. This healthy, high protein summer berry crisp is the type of dish that will become your signature. You know, that dish that you make and bring to every summer party? Thankfully, this crisp is easy to make and requires very few ingredients. Which is obviously great news for you since you'll be making it all the time. And this berry crisp is one of those recipes that truly pleases every kind of eater. Even the ones that hate healthy food. Just don't tell them that it's healthy until after they finish eating it and then you can rub it in their face for eternity. I'm Talia from PartyInMyPlants.com and I am so stoked to show you how to make it so I can eat it when we're done. Start by preheating your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then dumping five to six cups of berries, any mix of berries you like, into a bowl. Just make sure you wash them and chop them. Then dump in two tablespoons of coconut sugar and mix that around the bowl. Just try to get it evenly dispersed. Don't let any berry go untouched with the coconut. Then spritz a casserole dish with some coconut oil spray and spread out your berries. Push that aside for a sec, we'll come back to it in a minute. Now dump in two cups of rolled oats into a bowl, plus one cup of almond meal, one cup of chopped pecans, one or two scoops of vanilla sun warrior, half a teaspoon of sea salt, and half a cup of coconut sugar. Now just mix that together and add in six tablespoons of room temperature coconut oil. Now it's time to get your hands dirty, my friend, so take off your rings, wash your hands real well, don't pick your nose, and go in there and massage that coconut oil right into the mixture. It'll feel good and it'll taste even better licked off your finger. What? You gotta try it. I mean, what, you're just wash your hands and get all that good stuff off into the sink? I mean, come on, lick it off, man. Then bring your berries back into the picture. There they are. And plop your mixture on top of the berries. Simple as that. Once all the berries are covered and all the mixture is done, just scoot it on into your oven and bake it for 45 to 50 minutes or until it smells fresh and has a golden top and you just, just can't wait any longer. I mean, not much more to say than that. Remove it, let it cool, and then enjoy the hell out of it. It's great topped with a little vegan vanilla ice cream or some coconut cream. Oh, and not that I have any experience with this or anything, but I've heard that cold leftovers eaten right out of the pan from the fridge at midnight taste equally as good as the fresh out of the oven stuff. I mean, that's just word on the street. 